Well, we've done the hollow scream world. Now for some family fun that is totally up my alley. I am joined by one of our dear friends and Lori Land from Bush Gardens. And you might recognize our other friends as well. Of course, I'm talking about Elmo, Abby Kadabi. Everyone's getting ready for their Halloween costumes. Are you shopping for your kids right now? I think this is the busy time. My daughter is actually a butterfly, which is what Abby was already oh, last year. That's awesome. Yeah, it's time for the Halloween costume shopping. And our friends from Sesame Street can give you lots of inspiration. We have this. Abby and Elmo here getting ready for Monsters and Fairies Weekend, which is this upcoming weekend. It's the first of our Sesame Street Kids Weekends here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. And it is really a great family-friendly daytime activity to come to. And this is perfect because I'm kind of feeling a fashion show coming on to give everybody some Halloween costume ideas if you've maybe still waiting on that. Again, Definitely. Loving the butterfly. I have a little spider, spider action for Elmo. Let's go ahead and see what other costume ideas our Sesame Street friends can help with. All right, first down the runway is Count Von Count. Very handsome. He is. He's so suave and debonair, and he's actually going to be the master of scaremonies for his not too spooky Halloween radio show, which is really great because it coincides with our Halloween weekends this year. I am loving that dapper as always. <laughs> Thank you, but Thanks, that's not where one of my favorites is actually coming up in more of a traditional costume that we like to see for Halloween. Well, this is your ever lovable Super Grover. <laughs> he's ready to help with anything and he's ready for his weekend, which will come up right after Monsters and Fairies, yeah. I always tell my daughter Grover was my favorite growing up, so I'm a little biased to the Super Grover, I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty great. And now, how about two? Two for the price of one. <laughs> We're talking more superheroes, yeah. right? This is Bert and Ernie, and they've got their superhero costumes on, so they'll they'll feel right at home next to Grover on his weekend. And then right after that is their weekend. They're going to have a spooky safari. There's going to be some scavenger hunts. They'll have some animal ambassadors. Great stuff for Bert and Ernie's weekend. And... Look who is very festive right now. Rosita is all decked out for her Halloween fiesta. That's our last weekend in the month of October. She looks so beautiful. She does. Yeah, she's I, shimmying. I love the sass. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I'm not surprised, our favorite cookie monster. And you can always tell what his favorite treats are as he's rocking the cookie belt. Yeah, he's is got that a cookie right, belt. Lori? Yeah, he's got a little cookie belt, cookie cape. <laughs> Doing the robot. Is that a robot there, cookie monster? He's got the moves. I'm he liking your does. moves. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty cool. And of course, we've got to have another favorite. This is more of a witch, right? Which yeah. is always a traditional. Yeah, we've got Zoe with her cute witch outfit. It's got little pumpkins on it, her little hat. She's super cute. She's super stylish. We always say Zoe has the best outfits. Oh, uh, she did very <laughs> well very dressed, Zoe. And yeah. again, good energy. I'm liking the energy we're seeing yeah, from the she's, models she's today. She's fashion forward. They're excited. They're all getting so ready. This is a great time of year for and them. And last but not least, that kind of caught me off guard. Look at the beak. It's Big Bird. I know his little fangs. It's Look fantastic. Look at those little fangs <laughs> that Big Bird is wearing. They're super cute. He's got a tie. Ooh, he did a spin there. Ooh, very nice spin there, Big He's Bird. You know, while all of the wonderful Sesame Street friends are here with us, let's talk about the meet and greets that people can do. I, I'm just wishing my daughter was here right now because <laughs> she would not know what to do, especially being next to Abby. How can people really take advantage this time of year and have fun with our Sesame Street friends? Well, there are so many chances for them to get up close and personal with their favorite Sesame Street friends. We're going to have our DJ and some dance parties and your little one will not want to miss the chance to dance right next to their sesame friend in their in their Halloween attire and your little one can wear their own Halloween attire too and be like look look what I've got it's going to be fantastic. We also have uh, friends marching around the area. We're going to have some trick-or-treat stations for candy to satisfy the sweet tooth. And if you'd like to take it up a notch and make that lunch more than memorable, more than delicious, you can make it memorable with Dine with Elmo and Friends. Aww. So you can have some meet and greets there, some new photo opportunities. I yeah, it's going to be really this. great. Well, again, we're loving this opportunity with Abby. Hopefully we've helped with some Halloween ideas. But most importantly, come out, have some fun with the Sesame Street crew as they all come back in to join us one last time. Come on, bye. And as Come always, on, you can get more information on our website, tbmorningblend.com. In the meantime, everybody, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Big waves.